Angels, it's Haley Reese, and for today's video, we are back yet again for this year's 31 Days of Halloween with Mama Reese and Sarah. We decided that we had so much fun last year going on like a haunted tour in Canada that we were going to do it again this year, except this time we were going to go to Kingston because when we were in Ottawa and all of those other places, Kingston wasn't too far away and everything that we would search as far as haunted always had something to do with Kingston. So we're like, this year, we are definitely going to Kingston. And that is exactly where we are right now. And we're so excited. We have so many crazy things planned for this week adventure that we are going on. And then we're going on another adventure nearing the end of the month. So you guys are gonna get so many haunted locations and all of this exploring. But for today, right now, we are going to head to the Prince George Hotel, which was actually built in 1809, but became a hotel in the mid 19th century. So it's very, very old, and there is definitely a creepy history to it. It is rumored that a spirit by the name of Lily Hirchmer haunts the grounds to this day. Now, Lily actually resided on the grounds where this hotel is back in the day, and it was said that she had fallen in love with a man who was a sailor who would actually frequently visit Kingston. Now apparently she would leave a lantern in the window in order for him to know that she was there waiting for him except one windy night the lantern actually fell from the window into her room and lit the entire room on fire. And unfortunately Lily actually perished within that fire so it said that she haunts these grounds to this day. Now there are so many people who claim to have seen Lily on these grounds but overall the hotel and pub that we're going to right now is said to be incredibly incredibly haunted. So we are going to head in there right now, explore the grounds, see what we see, and see if it really is haunted. Maybe the ghost of Lily will appear, who knows, but we're definitely excited. We're going to get some food and see what it has to offer. Okay, let's go. Okay, you guys, so we are walking up to the hotel and pub, and let me just say, this area definitely seems like it has a lot of history. It really feels like we're kind of back in time when we're looking at the buildings other than everything else that's around uh, like take a look over here I mean they're beautiful places but they definitely look very historical you guys we made it this is the Prince George Hotel and this is the pub area that we are going to eat in it definitely feels like it has some sort of history to it that's for sure so I just said that we were going to be sitting back here, but we're actually gonna go right here instead. You guys, look at this place. Definitely historical, to say the least. So cool. I think we're gonna go up here and uh, eat. So we just got seated and I just need to show you the area that we're gonna be eating in. By ourselves. By ourselves, oops, oh my gosh. Because it is definitely spooky. Um, I'll show you guys. Also, I definitely just saw that in that last clip I had a black dot on my eye. waitress if she would consider this place haunted and she said that she's never personally had an experience but that there's other employees here who are super spooked out that they won't go to the basement and that they don't like to be here at night so she said they've had tons of encounters I asked if I could talk to one of them but ironically they're not here is so we just left the haunted 
hotel slash pub. I went to go and see if we could explore the hallways of the hotel. However, like the ghost walk um, people were like, that's where they're set up is in the lobby there. So it would have been a little obvious if I just started walking upstairs, but I did stop to chat with the ghost tour people for the haunted walk and kind of get like an inside scoop on the situations here in Kingston. And while I was there, I actually went ahead and purchased a haunted Kingston book. And it basically outlines every single haunted place and all of the freaky stuff that goes on here. So I'm definitely going to be looking into this tonight, but because we didn't get too, too much footage there at the Haunted Pub, I decided we would take a trip to Dunning Hall, which is an incredibly haunted area on the university campus. Um, apparently, it's haunted by a woman in a white dress who goes through walls and people, which not all ghosts do, by the way. You don't always see ghosts going through walls and things like that, so she's known and notorious for going through walls. And then also, when there was somebody in there doing construction, he kept noticing that the tools were getting cleaned up and he couldn't figure out why and then all of a sudden he saw this woman as well. So there is a lot of activity that's said to happen here. A lot of students actually have a ton of experiences. So I thought that we would go and check it out, see what they have to offer here and see if we sense anything. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We literally just arrived. Okay, we made it to Dunning Hall. Uh, are we able to even get in here? I think it's locked. You think? It does look like it has a secured entrance. <laughs> Are we allowed in here? Are we allowed in here? So, these are the stairs that the woman's supposed to fly down. Yeah. And then she goes through all of these different walls. Okay, let's go upstairs and see. What? It's supposed to be closed? We are at Queen's University in Kingston, and this is said to be an incredibly haunted spot. I should have brought my spirit box. Maybe we'll have to come back in another video with my spirit box, but. Sarah and I all get, I'll show them. Look guys, it's supposed to be closed, focus. When mom, Sarah and I get together for some reason, all of the paranormal doors and places that are supposed to be closed, we can get into. Yeah. yeah. Sarah, you keep dropping your spooky. Yeah, <laughs> you guys, it's supposed to be closed. Right over here is a Bob for key entry and it just let us in. That is so spooky. What do you think, Sarah? Do you think it's haunted? I didn't really feel anything, but who knows? It's kind of creepy, like. It's a little spooky. I think the stairs, like you can feel the energy at the stairs. Maybe. Okay, angels, this lighting makes me look like a literal ghost, but no we have, intended. right? We have just arrived to our haunted hotel, which we are going to be spending the night in. This place looks freaking terrifying. Make sure to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed because these next few days, 
are going to be crazy. And I can't wait for you guys to see the videos that I have in store. I hope that you enjoyed this one, even though it was just more of showing you two legendary haunted places. But we've got some good stuff up our sleeves. Remember, my loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, we love you. <laughs>